Shalom. <clears throat> Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Racha Kodash, the honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. The world calls God Yahweh Shai. Is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who this world refers to as Jesus Christ, Baal Shem, is in the name of the Holy Spirit. Also, shalom to the 144,000 men, is laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Shem Shai. <clears throat> shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening. In all truth, in this city, shalom. It's your brother Kodash coming back here with another video to the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Shem Shai from GMS West Palm. Our entire video, Lord Willem, is going to be vanity, okay? Because that's what America is, and that's what majority of these people are. They're vanity, all right? And that word vanity, it says that which is vain, futile, or worthless. It says uh, emptiness, aimlessness, vainglory, foolish pride, <clears throat> void, okay? Something that has no value. Another word is for that is like dross, because that's what these people are going to be turned into. That's what these people really are now. They're dross, dirt, dregs. It says profuse or impure matter, and it says uh, worthless remainder of what was once valued. And let me grab some scriptures here. This is uh, Job. Book of Job, chapter 15, starting at 31, says, Let not him that is deceived trust in vanity, for vanity shall be his recompense. All right, so you trust in Babylon, or right, you trust in Esau, Edom. All right, your reward <clears throat> is going to be destruction. All right, you trust in something that's worthless, so the Lord is going to give you a worthless reward, which is destruction. Nuclear missiles. It says, it shall come, uh, verse 32, it says, it shall be accomplished before his time. And this is really speaking of uh, starting with Esau, Edom, of course, but, you know, our people are following that same step. Let me read 31 again. It says, let not him that is deceived trust in vanity, for vanity shall be his recompense. And that's going to be Esau, Edom's end. It says, it shall be accomplished before his time, and his branch shall not be green. All right, so in the prime, you know, in the prime of Esau, the Lord is going to put him down. This was says that he shall uh, vomit riches. Uh, this is Job 20 and verse 15. It says, He has swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. The Most High shall cast them out of his belly. All right, so in the prime of Esau, you know, him trying to fulfill his, his uh, new world order, the Lord is going to put him out, put him out of power. He said, It shall be accomplished before his time. You know, all right, so during his prime, it, it says, And his branch shall not be green. He shall shake off his unripe grape as the vine and shall cast off his flower as the as the olive, you know, because a grape is still on the vine before it's ripe. And once it's ripe, then it's falling off. But the Lord's going to take Esau out of power, you know, uh, during his prime All right, before he's, you know, fully ripe, you know, to implement his new world order it says for the congregation of hypocrites shall be desolate and fire shall consume the tabernacle of bribery you see so that's going to be the end of Esau Edom right? the number one person that was you know born in vain and two thirds of our people following in that follow in that same stead alright they're going to be taken out in their prime huh? alright Two thirds of our people trying to flourish in the society, thinking they reaching that top pinnacle point. <clears throat> All right, then the Lord take you out. It says they conceive mischief and bring forth vanity 
and their belly prepare of deceit. <coughs> all right, yeah, and that's what Edom, Esau, Edom does. He, all right, he brings forth vanity, man. All right, uh, what it says, um, folly is set at great dignity, and the rich sit in a low place. Okay, so vanity is a uh, hot commodity, okay, because a vain person is in rulership. So, therefore, of course, vanity, you know, will be a hot commodity, man. And from there, let me get uh, Psalms, Psalm 62, I'm going to start at verse 7. It says, And the Most High is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength. And my refuge is in the Most High. Trust in Him at all times, ye people, starting with Israel and the elect. It says, Pour out your heart before Him. The Most High is a refuge for us, Salah. Surely men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a lie. You know, and we're, we're uh, so called low class, you know, of so called low degree compared to people in this world. You know, and we're counted as worthless, you know, no value. Okay, but we're value we're valued in the eyes of Yahweh and that was what and that's what truly matters. Okay, it says and men of high degree are a lie. You know, so you see when you see these people out here and these these vain people out here, you know, they may be driving their Lamborghinis, Porsches, okay, McLaren's, okay, but they're all they're all vain as well. Okay, and Majority of them got the riches by by deceit and lies, okay. And them themselves, you know, they're liars, man. All right, not honest people. All right, doing all type of wickedness to get to that uh, so-called high degree. It says to be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. You see, so that's the balance. It says, trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery. If riches decrease, increase, set not your heart upon them. The most high have spoken once, twice have I heard this, that power belongeth unto the most high. Also unto thee, O Lord, belongeth mercy, for thou renderest to every man according to his work. Okay, so you pushing out vanity, all right, you know, you're going to get vanity, all right, you're sowing iniquity. You're going to reap vanity, man. All right? You're going to be worthless. All right? You're going to be dross. And that's what majority of people out here, they're dross, man. And from there, let me get, uh, I'm going to stay in Psalms. Psalms 24. Psalms 24, starting at 1, says, The earth is, is, the, is the Lord's Yahweh, and the fullness thereof, the world, and they that dwell therein. For he hath founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of Yahweh and who will stand in his holy place? Okay, who's going to receive mercy ultimately? Who's going to receive salvation? Who's going to be delivered in the chariots? It says, he that have clean hands and a pure heart. Who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully. And the scripture says, uh, wash hands, sinners. Oh, it says, cleanse your hands. I believe cleanse hands. E. Con James four and eight. It says, uh, "Draw nigh to the Most High, and He will draw nigh. He will draw nigh to you." And how do you draw nigh to the Most High? All right, by committing less sin. Okay, and how do you do that? By keeping the law, such as commandments, to the best of your ability. The scripture says, "Wisdom cannot dwell." Within a uh, malicious soul. Okay, so it says, Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, which is your mind, ye double minded. Okay, so we gotta lose 
the uh, the mind state of this world and follow the mind state of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Okay. Jumping back to Psalms twenty four and four says, "He that have clean hands and a pure heart, who have not lifted up his soul unto vanity, nor sworn deceitfully." All right, not lifting our souls unto vanity, man. All right, not praying to idol gods. Okay. Not following these different false religions, man. Okay. All right. Having a pure mind towards your how about Shmi Al Shai. All right. Being truthful, being honest to yourself and to the Lord. To the Lord first, man. And to yourself, man. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> verse 5 says, He shall receive the blessing from Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai and righteousness. From the from the power of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob, Salah. Okay, and we're in that generation now. This is the generation now coming back. <clears throat> Seeking the Lord in truth and sincerity. The elect. Okay, we're clearly in that generation now. How many people, you know, starting with the apostles and elders, how many Men out here that's serving the Lord, man. All right, out there on the highways and byways, standing up for the evildoers, man. And this is uh, let me get Ecclesiastes. Yeah, Ecclesiastes one verse one says the words of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem. All right, with King Solomon. It says, vanity of vanities, saith the preacher, vanity of vanities, all is vanity. What profit hath a man of all his labor, which he taketh under the sun? You know, so there's no real uh, profit in the labor, in our labors, man. You know, speaking of the labors of this world, obviously, okay? You know, you working hard for your job, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. Please ask these nine and ten, whatever you put your mind to, do it all thy might. Okay, but you investing in this world, all right, it's all vain. It's all vain, man. All right, because what's the one work that's not in vain? The work of the Lord. This is uh first Corinthians fifteen, verse uh 58 says, therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. See, so we're, this work that we're doing, the work for Yahweh Bashim al Shah, this labor is not in vain. This work is not in vain. These videos that we push out is not in vain. Okay? But you working 10, 12 hours for Esau, all right, you busting your ass, trying to make it to the to the big leagues, major league soccer, all right, MLB, major league baseball, NBA, NFL, that's all vain, vain labor, man, you know, exercise, profit a little, it's a good profit, you know, you're going to be in shape, you know, you're going to have good money, you know, but at the end of the day, will you receive salvation for that vain work, man? No. You're going to receive salvation by doing your work, uh, your, your spiritual work, man. Reading, studying. Okay? Getting in tune with your uh, power. <clears throat> if it be the Lord's will, I'll close with this. This is Second Ezra 9. Start at verse 20. So I considered the world, and behold, there was pearl because of the devices that were coming to it. All right, great calamity is coming to America, okay, because of all the wickedness. All right, sins has reached, have reached up unto heaven to the point where Yahweh Hashem Yahushai has to send his son to destroy this place. His son, his angels to destroy this place and deliver his elect that is, that is crying and sighing for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Verse 21, it says, And I saw and spared it greatly, and have kept me a grape of the cluster and a plant of a great people. 
All right, this is the elect, the elect of the nation of Israel, so-called black, Spanish, and Native Americans that's going to be delivered, that's going to be kept during these times. All right, because we're, Lord willing, we are that number predestinated, man, from the foundations of the earth. It says, let the multitude perish then, which was born in vain. A lot of people out here are a part of that number, man, being born in vain, being born of no value. All right, just an example of what not to do and what not to be. It says, and let my great be kept, the elect, and my plant, for with great labor have I made it perfect. May Lord willing, we that number. We're perfect in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. No matter what this world sees us as, you know, this world sees us as ancient, ancient people, you know, bums, you know, all types of evil and wicked things, man. Okay, but the Lord sees us as value. And that's all that matters. So with that, you know, Lord willing, this video was edified. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Racha, Kwedash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. To the next lesson, I say Shalom and Ababa Ba'al. Shalom.